Hi guys, so welcome to another video. In this video, I thought we were going to do a review of my Sony Handycam. This is a full HD 9.2 megapixel camera. It has both um, video recording features and photo taking, taking features. It can take photos up to, I think, 30 times optical zoom and 60 times digital zoom. And this is really great for when you want to take pictures that are far away from you and you want to have them bigger that you can see them. And it's also really good like when you want to take a cl close up of um, some something. So yeah, I'm gonna do a demo of that in the end of this video. So stick around to see that. Now let's talk about what's good and what's bad about this camera. Well, for starters, it's a bit outdated camera. It has only 9.2 megapixels, while most phones nowadays have like 12 megapixel cameras or even higher. Like uh, some Samsung's phones, I think, have 40 megapixels or more, even. And short 9.2 megapixels isn't bad. It's just not that not that good compared to the new 12 megapixel cameras that we have in almost every smartphone on the planet right now. So yeah, I will give it a small thumbs down for this and Sony, I know you're doing better cam cameras now because this is like 2015 model when cameras on iPhones or smartphones weren't that good, but nowadays it's a bit outdated and not as clear as some as some uh, cameras on phones. But what's really cool about this that I think is this, as you can see right here, wait, as you can see right here, it has a projector on it, which is really cool because that just means that whenever you're filming something, you can watch it with this projector on here and I've actually tried this and I will also do a demo of that in the end of this video when I try the zoom feature so yeah stick around for that and what else cool is about, about, the, about this camera is um, you can charge from it uh, this camera so you don't have to swap the battery every time as you can see it has a charger there that you just plug into your outlet and yeah, it's really great because that means that you don't have to switch batteries all the time. And I charge with that every time I want to use it. And when you open it, it like looks like. Wait a second, it looks like that. Handy camera shows up. It's a Sony camera. If I haven't already said it, and there you can see me. Uh, so yeah. It's pretty pretty big display and you can also flip it if you for example or shooting something like you vlogging and you can have it like this and look into the camera and use it like that and it also has a, um, multiple um, multiple microphones in it so it can record 5.1 audio and I have actually so shot most of my reviews with this camera and as you can hear if you see those videos it's not a bad microphone built in to this but it isn't the best like this that I'm using now I think is better for myself but someone else might say something else but for me microphone on this camera it's pretty good it's not the best but it's pretty average this camera also has here on the inside if you flip open this thing it has a micro sim card or mini no not sim card micro SD card and two uh, yeah two ports for a projector that you put the for the projector that you can plug in uh, for HDMI it's mini HDMI it also has up here some outputs for like for like your microphones extended microphones 
and those are also, also some pretty cool features and you can use your headphones with it also it has support for that and when you want to use the projector you just press this button right here as you can see it says projector right there and then it has a on and off button on the projector and some other features and there's the microphone as you can see no that's the speaker I think yeah, speaker because the microphone is on the front here but yeah that's pretty much all that's on it it also has a removable but removable battery right here and one of these holes for a stand as I have right here it has a stand uh, stand thing on it that makes it so that I can put it on a stand but what do you say let's uh, get right into testing this camera out okay for the first test I'm just gonna test out the microphone this is the microphone that I use now and it is on two channel mode so that you can hear how it sounds like now and now we're gonna test out the zoom and I'm just gonna now it's maxed zoom out and let's see zoom on zoom into one of those pop figurines that I have back there okay now we are at about half of the camera's ability to zoom in and pretty much all of the opti optical zoom that you can use well let's see how it looks when I use the full zoom as you can see you can zoom in pretty much really far into it and you can still read the pop movies and stuff but the problem when you are this much zoomed in that if you touch the camera slightly it will look like this I'm not touching it much now but it shakes really much only because it's way more zoomed in so a smaller touch is gonna make it seem like a big touch I'm just gonna move it up a little so we can see it if we see if we can see if we can read the things that are said on that pop figurine now it's maxed zoom in let's see yeah now we can actually see what it says right there it says warning shocking hazard not suitable for children under 36 months and I can't read this this at all if I'm all the way zoomed back here it's impossible to read even in the real life because I'm because it's like uh, two meters away and the text is really small it's like one centimeter in height and a couple of centimeters in width so it's not a big huge text at all but you can perfectly fine read it if you zoom in the max now we just gotta focus and there you can see how it cool that is yeah that's really cool but yeah let's just try out the um, the projector on this camera and see how that works see as you can see it's really dark in here now and here I have my camera so I'm just gonna try out the projector on this on my projector screen that I have right there so let's go to menu it has touch, touch screen here as you can see this is the projector you have to press this projector button right here I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Then this come up, and you want to choose shot on this device. Oh, like that. Then project. And yeah, as you can see right there, it's projecting right now. It's not the biggest projector, but here's the size of the projector. You can see right there. It's really tiny, it's really tiny, so even to be able to just shoot something like this, wow. It's incredible with the camera that has a built-in projector. Yeah, now it's recording video right here, or showing video. And the strokes that you can see on the camera is not visible in real life. And this is one of the coolest cameras because of this projector feature. There's not a lot of other cameras that has this projector feature. It's shooting right from there. 
two projectors up here and it's not my projector that I use up there and because I have to have it this dark in the room to be able to see it because it's not that bright but it is still really cool and as you can see I'm just playing up the video that I shot before and yeah this is just one of the coolest features on this well yeah guys this was pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and yeah please subscribe also if you haven't already and if you like this video but yeah see you in the next one peace